This angle is so trash. Hey guys, my face is so fat in this. It is day two in Connecticut. I just did my makeup. I'm gonna go probably see if I can get some breakfast. And then I'm gonna go to Goodwill that I saw yesterday by here. I really need to do some stuff with my hair, but I'm gonna like taking it out, put it back in. It is 11 o'clock. Rescue on the paper towels. I don't know. Let's try it. It's gonna work. Yes, it's working. Yes, my paper towel is a camera stand. I just did my makeup and I was watching some Zia and Ken. They actually uploaded. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. They live in this fucking event right here. She was loud as fuck. And um, hopefully, you can hear me though. Stay somewhere else, but also. 
also I was trying to stay here because I wanted to go to the outlet. But the outlet, I just I'm mean, I know that I got some of this stuff that I'm gonna top it off of. But it's just not what I used to. It's not like anthropology, it's not like I don't I didn't even find any Zara. Like I'm like, oh <laughs> sucks. And I was just getting on the Zara bandwagon. So with that sadness, I'm sure I'll do better today. Possibly. I'm just gonna speak into existent. I'm sure I'll do better today. Find some great stuff from Zara, some anthropology, find some
but like I feel like I was wally gagging to go to sleep and like when I was in the shower I was so paranoid because this is my first time like traveling by myself so I was like fucking shook it like I literally saw the AC through the shower curtain because I used to shower through the door and, like kind of open and like almost fucking like had to take another shower because I was just scared myself so bad pajama pants and men's pajama pants at that but I found them at the thrift store and I love the like color 
look out for brand name Carisia in the future because I probably will recreate these in a better, more better material because they're just so freaking cute. I love the pattern. And I just thrifted these at Goodwill in NYC. Let's keep it sure. And then I'm gonna wear these. I'm just kidding. Then I'm gonna wear my Nike Air Forces. I'm so tight, I don't have any white socks, but um, yeah, I wore all my white socks when I was with my brother. And when I came home, I didn't wash our white clothing because one, I didn't want to buy bleach. Like at his house, I didn't want to buy bleach because I know I have bleach in my own house. And then when I got home, I just ended up not doing the laundry for my white clothing because I did my color clothing at, clothing at his house. And then I was gonna do the white, but then I didn't feel like buying bleach. I was like, I have bleach in my house. So I took it home. Like, okay, I'm gonna wash it at home. Then I didn't wash it at home. <laughs> I have so much shit in my hands right now. I'm stuck with these, with yellow. But it's okay, it's fine. That's the fit for today. All right, guys, so we are about to leave. Oh my gosh, this lighting is so much better. But yeah, we're about to leave. See if I had a fucking big ass window, I would just sit down in the AM, like five, six o'clock, and show you what I got in this big ass bag, but the lighting be so fucking trash. Like, maybe if I, let's see. Like, even if I put it down here, the lighting would still be kind of trash. Probably like put a towel on the floor. The housekeeper came and um, she brought some more towels. So I definitely have towels to put on the floor and sit down on because I had all my towels on the chairs. They're so gross. Like there's one, there's one more over there. But she brought some new towels, which is lit. She was really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm about to leave. It's like one o'clock right now, which is super duper late, and I haven't even had anything to eat yet. Um, but I'm gonna go to the place that the lady recommended over there and see what they have to eat. And yeah, let's just go because it's super late already. It's one o'clock, it's 12.47. Um, this light is so nice so i need to take some selfies but if i take some selfies i'm gonna leave here like two o'clock <laughs> so you can hear the thingy chirping i have to tell them about that when i come back yeah so this is my bag i have a bag just in case it's too small and i have a laundry bag okay just in case i go to the bins because yesterday i needed that entire laundry bag i knew i should have bought three but i bought two only so if I need another one, I will just go and get it. But then again, does my cousin have that much space in her trunk? I think we'll figure it out. So yeah, it's very cool. Let's go outside. Oh, almost forgot my water. All I gotta do is walk past her, but I'm like so like polite and stuff. I think I had to say hi like 50 million times. Like, oh, I saw you earlier. Hi, 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 hi. And it's probably like really weird to other people, but and that's really weird, honestly, in general. <laughs> but like, I feel like I can't like walk past a person and not acknowledge them, which is just ridiculous, but. As usual, I forgot something. I forgot to bring a mask. Um, this may or may not be less than what I got yesterday, but I do think it's better things than I got yesterday. I got some Torrid, which goes really fast for me. I found a Max Mara skirt, press great with the equipment. 
items that I found yesterday. I found like one Zara. And the best thing about um, thrifting in the regular Goodwill rather than the outlets is just like you're so much less likely to find defects on your items. And the one item that I did find a defect on, they did give me a discount. I think they gave me like a $2 discount, which was great. And it was a really cute, cute dress. I actually bought it for myself. And then I'm gonna do a whole haul because I do have some few items at home that I thrifted and wanted to show you guys for summer. So I'll probably like include that with that. And I also got some shoes for myself. I'm kind of giving it away, but you guys don't know what it looks like. So when I post that, you, gotta, you guys gotta watch it. Let's get some food. Gonna get the same Chinese food I got yesterday. I'm very happy these bags aren't heavy. I think since I spent so much at a regular Goodwill, I'm a little bit under budget, budget maybe like $60 under budget. But I think since I went to regular Goodwill today, I should take tomorrow off and not thrift tomorrow. So I might do that. I'm not sure yet. So I don't end up going over budget, but yeah. And also it's great because I can also save by not having to transport because the walk is a lot shorter and my bags are actually not like crazy heavy. So that's really, really good. And it's gonna rain tomorrow. So I guess, I don't know. I think I'm gonna come out in the rain probably in the morning and enjoy the day. I don't know. Or maybe I was also thinking like, what if I just came back here and thrifted some more and just like, so fuck it. But I don't know, I'll see. Or maybe I could go to the bins tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. I also kind of want to get my baby cousin, my nephew, um, something else for his birthday. I got this like little coin thingy, it's gorgeous. I'll show you to you later, it's so pretty. And I really want to give it to him. Maybe I'll give it to his sister because this is not her birthday, but it's just such a beautiful thing. And I, sh I feel like it could teach so many lessons because I remember when I got my first piggy bank and I remember count saving up pennies, like every penny I would find, I would save them up. And I remember counting them. I, I remember the first day I hit a hundred pennies. I was at the kitchen. No, I was at the table actually counting fucking pennies. Really not a good thing, but I was a kid. Um, but I was at the table counting pennies, see how much I had, and I finally hit 100 pennies. And then, that, I don't know, like, I always remember that moment, like hitting my first 100 pennies. And then I asked my mom, like, yo, that's cool. So I guess I was like, oh, now maybe next time I'll get a thousand. And then I was like, mom, do you think someone could get paid like a thousand dollars a week? And my mom was like, no like no it kind of shows the mindset that like i come from but like she was like no you can't make a thousand dollars a week like it was the most crazy thing to her i guess oh all right guys so i'm back inside something's in this eye but i made it home I got my food. I got the same exact thing I got yesterday and I'm going to eat it with the lunch that you saw me have earlier, my leftovers. Um so this one of these things keeps chirping. I think it's the carbon monoxide one, so I have to ask them to come fix it. Uh, I don't feel like leaving my room, so I want to see if I can call the front desk and get them to fix it because it sucks thankfully i cleaned off the phone yesterday i did think i was gonna use it but i cleaned it off she gave me a spoon this time and it fell on the ground okay i have soap i'm gonna use it Ooh, and a fortune cookie so lovely i'll be reading that my first solo trip breaking a for open a fortune cookie let's see what it says so i'm back mm -hmm. i mean i got asmr I'm a so hi guys how are you all doing today i just got some broccoli and chicken
off this own lighting. <clears throat> so I'm about to open this fortune cookie real quick. Let's see what it says. I don't even like fortune cookies. Any of some more? You know when you're like young and you don't like something, but then when you're older you like it? So let's see. Hmm, kind of tastes like ice cream cone. Where's the ice cream? Y'all know how I feel about ice cream. Not bad. Okay. It says, don't behave with cold manners. Oh, that's our fortune. Let's see if I can get in touch with room service. I mean, not room service, but the front desk. Oh, here's the phone. Oh, I need a number for the front desk. Oh, I see. So yeah, no number for the front desk. So concierge oh there's a front desk button dial tone oh that's how you make the speaker work so it doesn't work and I have to go out there and tell them. She said that they don't have maintenance staff here right now. So they'll have to like either. Yeah, so she said either they're gonna have to find someone hopefully or they might change my room. I have so much stuff though. I have like shit in the fridge and all that. It's just like way too much. I think. That must be them. Hello. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm by myself. Oh yeah. I mean. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's fine. I don't need to change my room because I have a lot of stuff. I don't really feel like moving it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll take the batteries. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. I'm just gonna get the batteries changed. I feel like she's gonna use the wrong one, but let's see. I also wanna ask her if, I could, if like, if you burn a candle, will it stop the smoke alarm? I don't wanna sound stupid, <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna get the batteries. And she's like, she was like, I don't really have anyone to come and change it for you. Are you, do you have a boyfriend or something? Cause I mean, I could change a room for you or I could like try to come and change myself, but honestly, I don't really want to. <laughs> I'm, at least she was honest. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the batteries. I'm gonna try to change it myself. Cause honestly, not that big of a deal. And honestly, yeah, maybe my room was meant to be changed. I mean, no, not really, because I'm gonna stay here. Honestly, I have like shit in the fridge. I have all this stuff over here. Like, honestly, could you imagine me having to like lug all of that just to change rooms for another, I guess, two days? But honestly, I could live. So I'm gonna go do that. I am back. I feel like I've been filming forever, but. She gave me a battery. I'm gonna try to take that down. Actually, I'm going to take it down because I'm pretty sure I'm tall enough if I stand on that chair. So, oh, or I could move this chair. I might, it might roll away with me though, but I'm gonna try it. If you don't keep splashing with cash, I'm gonna tell mom that it's thanks to you she made the first bad wedding toast ever. Blackmail <gasps> your father in space, will you? <laughs> 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 
So it's not beeping anymore. I have like cords that makes it stuck to the wall. That's why I couldn't take it down. I had to like change it while it was up there. I'm a 24 year old millionaire. That's the end of that.